No, it's not an easy journey. It's not an easy journey. I was just listening to a message because I was complaining a little bit. I'll tell you what. This is hard. It is. And if anybody sees me talking or yelling, I'd like to see you walk that path. <laughs> I'm not perfect. It's been difficult. 41 years of my life has been extremely, extremely difficult. And every once in a while, I have to blow off steam because I don't have anyone to, that I can turn to in the physical realm at this time. Okay? So if you see that and you judge me, that's on you. I wanted you to know that. Because if you judge, because you see me talking to myself, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to the Father. And yes, I yell at him sometimes, because that's what I do. And he still loves the socks off of me. And you too. See? That's a true relationship, people. It's not about holiness. It's about being real. Right here. You know? He understands when you're frustrated. He understands when you're at your breaking point, which I feel like, you know, but when I get to there, somehow I get strength again. Thank God for that. But sometimes I lose it. I've walked a difficult path, but it's made me stronger. But sometimes I just get tired. It's like, when? When? So this message is for all the other seats and stars and people of God. If you feel like you're at your breaking point, even the sun of the Most High breaks every once in a while. So nobody is beyond that. So if anybody's acting that way, that's exactly what it is. It's an act. They're not being truthful. They're not being honest at all. Behind closed doors, they're one person. And in front of everybody, they're, they're different. That's a hypocrite. That's a false person. I don't want nothing to do with somebody like that. I'm real. And I'm not afraid to not be perfect. We were never expected to be perfect on this planet. None of us. And when we transform, I don't know the answer to that. When we ascend, I don't know that answer yet. It's a surprise. But if that's the case, that'd be awesome. But if it doesn't, then this physical realm is where we're at. And it feels good just even talking to my phone. <laughs> but, um, I was going to say something. Yes, I was going to say this. For all you people that are involved with filming me since I have been a baby, since the moment I was kidnapped, if you think for one moment that you're going to get away with this, you're sadly mistaken. My father has seen everything, 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 and he's bringing me justice, absolutely, without question. And if there's somebody out there that thinks that they're going to take my life from me, there's another thing coming for you. You can't do it. It's not written in the stars. So lose that thought, move on, and start your healing process. Or not. It's your choice. But what you're doing is illegal. And guess what? You're going to be sued for every dime you have. And it'll be mine. Because it was meant to be that way. I will be not be worried about money. For all you people that pass me by, you know, I, I don't hate you and I ain't even judging you. Those are tests, by the way. Father watches everything. See, that's what you guys are blind about. And I pray that you wake your, wake up, open your eyes. Some of you have seen me doing this. Open up your eyes and look up. That's what I mean. 
You need stop being greedy. Stop being selfish. Don't look at someone when you have a closet that is full of skeletons and look at someone else's life and think that they've got more when in fact you do. That is the truth. For anyone that needs to project onto someone else means they have something they're not willing to look at on their own inside. And that is what's stopping you from healing. That is what's stopping you on your journey. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's wisdom. Don't be a hypocrite. There's no one perfect and no one better than anyone. We were all created equal on this realm. With the same opportunities is what I'm speaking of. We all have the same opportunity to heal. We all have the same opportunity to help the next person heal. Or whatever the case may be. Instead of looking for a miracle, be a miracle to someone else. That's what Father wants. He wants you to be the miracle in someone else's life so that He can bless you. That's the way it works, people. It works exactly like that. Be a miracle. And sometimes a miracle is just as simple as buying someone something to eat, dropping off a $5 bill, a $20 bill, a $50 bill, a hundred, whatever you can afford. You know, you know what you've got. You know, and it's not always about giving money. It's about doing what the Father puts on your heart to do. And I promise you something. Once you do it, there is an energy that's just waiting for you to do this so that it can come inside of you. And that's what happens. Each time that you do something good and you feel good, those endorphins get released. That's the energy I'm speaking of. It feels good to do good. And that is why I've come. That's a part of the balance program that I am going to introduce to this world. That's just one part so many more to come. I love you guys and appreciate you bearing with me as I bear with you. And I love you. Thanks for coming on my journey. I'm Mike Until next time.